everyone, my name is Jen and welcome to The Book Refuge and welcome to our first TBR video for 2021. So even though it's coming out in 2020, this is my first TBR video for 2021. And first off, yes, I am rocking my um, Smart Women Read Romance pins. There is a post on my Insta if you want to see them closer. You've probably seen them if you follow Insta, but I ordered these from a Kickstarter campaign that Jessen over at Jessen Reads Romance um, did, and I love them. And I had a pink denim jacket, so I thought I would just throw them on. So I'm super extra with it today, and all the patterns I have going on, it's a thing. But I was feeling extra and so I did it. So, all right. So we got a little bit of business to get through in this TBR because I've changed a few things about the way that I'm going to do buddy reads as well as how I'm going to have the like voting on buddy reads. So every month I like to do a couple buddy reads just with some of my friends and I don't ever want that to change. I want to have room to buddy read with new people and buddy read with my friends where stuff that we are really wanting to get to together and I don't want to lose that um, ability to just pick up a book and read it whenever I want. Um, I assume that I'll still be able to read you know lots and lots in the next year we think but I also know that when you make plans at the beginning of the year God laughs sometimes, right? That's actually a Bible verse. Men make, not God laughs, but like in his heart, a man sets his path and the Lord directs his steps or something like that. Whatever. Whatever. Not to quote too much Bible at you today, but I just know that, I mean, the plans that I made for 2020, I just went in a completely different way. And a lot of that was really good, but I also just like cast aside a lot. So that's why whenever my planning video comes out, whether it's before or after this, hopefully I'm smart and I put that up already for you guys. We'll see. You'll see that a lot of my goals, like, don't really have to do with reading specific books. They're more either, like, you know, I put up that, the authors that I want to read, and, like, maybe I'll set a number, but really I just want to keep having free reign. So, that being said, what I did do, though, is I think I've, I, this went up on my Insta quite a while ago now, as well as I asked my members if they had any, and I made this little TBR tin. So this was actually like a recipe box and I just thought it was adorable. And so what I did is I, I put a little question card on Insta and I asked people to send me book prompts. And so some of them are prompts that I've made specifically because I know, I know my library and I want to challenge myself to, this is going to be a tin that is for, um, primarily books that I already own. So a little bit like the game that I did last year, but this time it is like all focused on romance. That is where I kind of struggled last year because my my mood taste changed very quickly on in the year. And so it just made my TBR game obsolete. So these are all focused towards romance and anything that I would read outside of romance, number one is not really gonna be planned. Because very, very few fantasy books that I planned did I actually read in 2020. And most of them were fantasy romance if I did read them at all. So I don't want to pin myself into that. And then, like, it's not that I have a problem breaking the rules or doing whatever I want. I just don't want people to expect something from me and then not give it. Even though, I know you guys don't, I know. But it's just how I feel. Because I like hitting goals. And I like being able to do what I say I do and not make plans that I have, you know, no intention of seeing through, right? So anyway, um, I'm going to tell you the books that I'm reading as buddy reads to start with. And then any of the books that I pull out of here from my physical TBR, which most of them are going to be historical because that is kind of how I have tailored it, but it won't, prim it won't only be that. I will put as possible buddy read options for the channel, right? So there still will be a poll. You'll be able to find it linked down below um, and you can vote on that. And whatever one wins that poll will be the buddy read on my channel. As I've shared, I eventually want to have a like, whether I start a Patreon or whether I add it as another YouTube level, um, I don't know yet, but I do want to have a more personalized buddy read where either it is a chance to like choose 
one of the buddy reads or something like that. But I always, I have had this like help me choose a book for almost two years now. And that is how I've made some of my very best friends that I have on YouTube. And so I don't want to lose that polling part of it and put it behind like a paywall for people. But I want that to be an option because like as I grow and as like I have more options with you know what I do and I also know that it's harder for me to be individualized and so that may eventually be an option for people who want to either pay for me to read a specific book or pay to read a book one-on-one -on -one with me I don't know what that is anyway rambling this doesn't have to do with TBR but anyway I still always want there to be an option for people to vote on a, one that we read together and I feel like historical books are so much fun but, all right, enough of that. We'll start with the ones that I'm buddy reading, and then we'll get into drawing some out of here. I do have some in front of me that I like. They're not buddy reads, but they're ones I want to get to, so I'm hoping the prompts will work with me. And I don't know how many I'm going to pull. And then at the end, we'll go over what's going to be new releases in January that will that I'm going to like add on to the end that I'm hoping to read in the month of January as well. Okay, so the books that I am buddy reading. First off, I am a part of a book club. Well, I host a book club with my friend Crystal from Crystal's Bookish Life. And we just started this in November. We've only done a couple books so far. But for January and February, we're like each picking like a favorite author of ours. And we're reading a couple books. So for the month of January, this has already been announced. It's no surprise. We are reading two books by my queen, Julia Quinn. And we are reading her um, Lost Duke of Wyndham or what's it called? The Two Dukes of Wyndham duology. So there's The Lost Duke of Wyndham, and then there is Mr. Cavendish, I presume. These books, this one came out first, and then this one came out, but they take place at the same time, and you can read them in any order. Um, the surprises of the story are given away in each book, and so once you've read one of them, you read the other one, and you get to see the different... Um, the different POVs. This was a really cool thing she did. Um, I just think Julia Quinn was like so unique in a lot of ways that she chose to tell stories. And I remember this was actually the one that I read first because I was a noob to, I wasn't a noob to reading obviously, but I wasn't like, I did not know that this was paired. And so it wasn't until a while later when I just was like, I just want to read every Julia Quinn that I can, that I found this one and then realized that, oh my gosh, these go together. So they're fantastic. If you want to know more about this, there's posts on my Instagram and you can join the discord down below for the Rake Appreciation Society. I'll have a link down there. Um, and we're doing that. We're also doing in February sneak peek, we're doing Sarah McLean and Sarah McLean is going to come to our book club. So just letting you know, but this book club also will be pretty soon. It's on January 15th. I think it's on January 15th, 14th or 15th. It's the second Thursday of the month. So you might want to prioritize these if you want to do it with us. That's also why I have my TBR come out a little early. So you got time because there's two of these. I wanted us to read more, Julia, because I did pick these um, because I'm the one who's read these ones before. I wanted to pick a Julia Quinn that wasn't as popular because, you know, Bridgerton's just, it's blowing up and rightfully so it should. But there are Julia Quinns that I feel like are even better books and that just don't get as much, you know, re they're not read as much because they didn't get the same kind of like pizzazz as like Bridgerton did. So those books shall be read. I can stack behind this on my movie shelf. That'll be cute. We'll do that. So we're reading those. Then I'm doing another buddy read with Crystal. This one is to kind of round out. Um, we read this whole series together. So I have the third book in the Hush Notes series. This one is Muses and Melodies and it's by Rebecca Yaros. I'm the most excited slash most nervous about this one because this is about, I think this is the guitarist and he has a drug and alcohol problem and he will have been sober for six months um, and he's going to be managing his own band now and so yeah, I don't know, I'm really excited. No, Nixon Winters. He's only been on the straight and narrow for six months. Sorry. I don't like to know too much about these besides what I already know about the characters. But this was a trilogy that was written by three different authors. Serena Bowen, 
um, Devney, Perry, and then Rebecca Yaros. And I had only read Serena Bowen before. Um, and I really loved both of those. And so I was like, Crystal, let's just round out this trilogy and read it together because I want to read it and I want to read it with you. So we are going to finish this one out. I love the covers of these books. They are just electric. They're so beautiful. So we're going to be finishing this out and see what happens to our buddies in the Hush Notes. And then the last buddy read that I'm doing um, that I set up ahead of time is I asked my friend Avery to buddy read with me. In December, she read a couple of my favorite books and I've been wanting to do a buddy read with Avery. I want to have her on my channel at some point too. She is just one of the sweetest humans. Like I'm not even kidding you guys. Her channel is Avery Loves Books and she is just the sweetest. And so I have that list of authors I'm trying to read in 2021 and I sent out to my friends the ones that I own and I was like hey um do you want to pick any off of this to read with me I'm gonna be, you're gonna see that a lot this year um because with some viewers of the channel even I have reached out and asked people or they have mentioned something about it um that happens a lot in our romance discord which there's that's also a link down below where we just you know chat with people who are booktubers and booktube watchers um and anyway so she picked from she wants to continue on in this series by Lindsay Sands and she wants to reread the first couple so she was like I really like that series Jen and I don't really remember what happened so how about we read this together so this is an English Bride in Scotland and I believe it's the first I don't know what the series name is off the top of my head um but she said this is the first one in the series and so I'm gonna read this with her so I'm very excited this is Scottish um which recently I've been trying to read a lot of Scottish romances more about that to come soon. Um, and so I was really glad she picked this one. This one has kind of a weird cover. The covers in this series definitely got better, but this one says, um, Annabelle was about to take the veil to become a nun. Oh, I didn't even know that this was about someone who's going to be a nun. I love reading books like that. When her mother suddenly arrived at the Abbey to take her home. Why? It's always in Scottish books too. Seriously, this will be the third one where a girl was about to be a nun and it's a Scottish book. Um, so that she can marry the Scottish Slayer who is betrothed to her runaway sister. She knows nothing about being a wife, nothing about how to run a household, and definitely nothing about the marriage bed. Whoop, whoop. From the moment Ross McKay sets eyes on Annabelle, he is taken by his sweet, shy bride. Aw. And the fact that she's blessed with lush curves only makes him utter his own prayers of thanks. Oh, this is a good, this is good. But when an enemy endangers her life, he'll move the Highlands themselves to save her. For though Annabelle's not the bride he planned for, she's the only woman he desires. Oh, that's really cute. I didn't even read the back of this. I just know that I wanted to read some of Lindsay Sands Scottish books, so I've been collecting them. So this is going to be read with my friend Avery. I will link her down below. She did Vlogmas, is doing Vlogmas, and I've loved getting to see a video from her as much as we have. So those are the ones that I'm buddy reading and now we're going to go to here. I'm going to pull four or five, six of these. We'll see which books get picked and how we feel about it. Okay. And again, I do have a stack over here that I'm going to pick from first. Um, but if I have to, I'll get up and pick, but I have a stack of about like 15 over here that I'm hoping will work for some of these. Okay. So the first one says, uh, historical romance you meant to read in 2020, but you didn't. And this was from Shan Reads. So thank you. I'm not going to throw these prompts away after I do it, but I am going to like, um, put it at the back and then I may go through them again. Cause I have about, I have about like 70 of those and depending on how much I read, I might get to them again. But this was sent to me by Shan Reads on um, Insta. So thank you so much. And this is perfect because I have some of those over here. Um, and the one that sticks out to me because I also have it on Audible is Unclaimed by Courtney Milan. I had been trying to read this for a couple different readathons. I've been wanting to read a Courtney Milan so badly. Um, and this one kept coming up to me and I have it on audio. So this one says, her only hope for survival, handsome, wealthy, and respected, Sir Mark Turner is the most sought-after bachelor in all of London, and he's known far and wide for his irreproachable character. But behind his virtuous reputation lies a passionate nature he keeps carefully in check, until he meets the beautiful Jessica Farley, the woman he's waited for all his life. 
It's to ruin the man she loves. But Jessica is a courtesan, not the genteel lady Sir Mark believes. Ooh. Desperate to be free of the life she despises, she seizes her chance when Mark's enemies make her an offer she can't refuse. Seduce Mark and tarnish his good name, and a pricely sum will be hers. Yet she become, But yet she comes to know the man she sworn to destroy, and Jessica will be forced to choose between the future she needs and the love she knows is impossible. That's great. Okay, and like I said, all the ones I'm pulling from here, they're going to be in a poll that you can vote for if you want a buddy read, which will help me, encourage me to read them as well. So we're starting the stack that will be possible for buddy read. All right. What's next? Ah! This one says, a book with a pink dress on the cover. And this is from Farmer's Wife. K-Tran. Sorry, I wrote sloppy. So it says this is from Farmer's Wife. I mean, it says, yeah, a book with a pink dress lady on the cover and I actually have a couple options for this because I'll spoil a little for you to see it the raven and the rose she's wearing kind of like a dark pink purple-ish dress but this one is much more clearly pink this is Anne Mallory for the Earl of Pleasure. This one's more clearly like a pinkish red. So I think we'll go with this. Um, I've only read one Anne Mallory, but I really, really liked it. And so I've, again, slowly been collecting her. And so I really want to read this one. She writes really sexy historicals. So this one says, They were once cherished childhood companions until a scandalous secret tore them apart. Now Valerian Rainwood, oh my, and Abigail Smart are fiercest of enemies. To Abigail, Rainwood is a notorious rake, hell-bent on mischief, and not fit for polite society, so what if it seems as if he can seduce her with nothing but his eyes? She will not succumb. I think she will. But when the Earl is viciously attacked, Abigail's distress tells her that something still binds her to wild Rainwood. Though the ton believes there is nothing between them, Rainwood knows the truth. Abigail tempts him the way no other woman has. Wanton lust overwhelms him whenever she is near, but keeping her too close may put their precious life in danger. He must destroy his enemies so that with every touch she may prove to Abigail that though their past was filled with trouble, their future won't be nothing but pleasure. So yeah, so this one is for read a book with a pink dress on the cover. That's the fun about all of the like step back books and things I bought is that I put a lot of prompts in here that have to do with stuff on the cover and it'll be fun. Hey, so this is one that I put in there, but I also know that there may be more of these prompts in there because a lot of people said this. Read a step back Saturday pick, which it just so happens that I put a couple of those in front of me. Um, and the one that I want to do the most. So I actually went through, um, so this is, so there's a different, there's a couple different prompts in here, which we'll start with this one. The read a step back Saturday pick is one that I posted as step back Saturday. So not one that someone else did. And actually a lot of the ones on step back Saturday, I haven't read. So the one I want to pick because it is kind of a wintry one and January is still really cold is actually the sound of snow by Catherine Kingsley. So this is the step back Saturday of this. They're like, isn't that beautiful? He's got like the mullet happening, but it says her love reawakened his heart. His touch taught her the meaning of desire. So that's that one. This is what this one says. After years of exile on the continent, this one's hard to read, sorry. Joanna was returning to the aristocratic English society she left in disgrace. Nothing, not even the gossip mongers, could keep her from Wakefield Abbey, where she intended to rescue her cousin Lydia's beloved son from his own father, the man Joanna suspected of Lydia's untimely death. Cool, dashing, and devilishly handsome, Guy de Salis, Marquess of Greaves, seemed capable of anything except giving and receiving love. She bore a startling resemblance to his dead wife. Clearly, Joanna was a woman to beware. Reluctantly, Guy asked her to be his son's governess and was astonished when the troubled child bloomed under her care. Before he knew it, the beautiful, exasperating woman was upsetting as well-ordered it was upsetting his well-ordered life, challenging his well-guarded secrets, making him imagine what joy there could be in loving the right woman if only he could express the silent passions that raged in his torn and broken heart. So that sounds cool. That has some interesting tropes. So it has like, it has a widowed guy with a son. Um, it has like, there's lots of secrets. It has a governess trope. Uh, that seems really interesting. And he, but he's like accused of killing that woman kind of, but I don't know. So I like that it's wintry. Wow. The, the front, like, I really do love the front too. I love the metallic, like purple and the front says 
sometimes what happens between a man and a woman can be miraculous. Her love reawakened his heart. His touch taught her the meaning of desire. That sounds really cool. I have a couple Catherine Kinsley for Step Back Saturday, and I wanted to read this one because it was wintry, but not Christmas. I've said this. I like winter, but not Christmas. I'm like the Snow Queen. I'm like Elsa the Snow Queen. The Snow Queen from The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe Boat. Ilsa. I think her name is Elsa. What's her name? It's not Elsa. I'm making it up. Someone knows the name of the queen from The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. You should tell me. But always winter, never Christmas. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to read this one with me, I'm going to try to read this. All right, next one. See, and, uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. <gasps> yeah, all right. This one says an HR set before the Regency period. This is also by Shan Reads. She gave me a lot. So you will see a lot from this person because they were awesome and gave me like 10. But yeah, set before Regency. And this is perfect because this also fits trying to read um, a certain author. So let me double check though that it's a not a Regency. I'm pretty sure it's not. Yes, it's not. Okay. So I want to, here's the Virginia Henley then, because I think this is the first in the series from what I've been able to tell. I don't even know if it's a series for sure, but like all those ones with the really fancy covers, which I actually have like right there. Um, and so this, this author was also on my authors. I want to read list and it's set before the Regency. So this should be good. This one is the Raven and the Rose. And it says this, her hair was black silk against her ivory skin. Her gray eyes burned with opal fire. The love child of King Edward IV, Rosina was pledged to her father's most prized warrior. He was dark, strong, and commanding, and in the bedchamber where he forced her to honor her marriage vows, she learned to crave his intoxicating touch. Ooh, we even used forced in the, on the back. And still she swore not to love him, even as she surrendered to the dark rapture of the raven. His shoulders were broad within the coat of mail that made him invulnerable to everything but Rosanna's touch. Rosina, Rosanna, not sure. Obsessed with taming the fiery beauty who inflamed his flesh, Ravenspur fell in love. Knowing ruthless men plotted to topple the king he served, and at the heart of the intrigue was she who would be either his death or his salvation. The Rose. So this is the Raven and the Rose. I mean, the covers are beautiful. I'm a little nervous that we're even saying forced in the back of it but I'm gonna try because these books are gorgeous and I hope that I could love it and this is set um, before the Regency so he's got male armor and everything so we're gonna try it let me know if you want to try it with me keep going here read something by a hyped author that I haven't tried yet hold on let me go find one. This one is a newer release um, and I don't know like how hyped it is, but like my friends have really hyped her. So I'm going to pick A Duchess a Day by Sherris Michaels. And this is the Waken by Kiss series. This is, I think, like the Snow White retelling and it's also like a bodyguard. Um, and I know a lot of my friends like this. Some of them didn't, but some of them did. And I think I want this on my list. So this one says, an heiress with a plan. Lady Helena Lark has spent years trying to escape her wedding to the vain and boring Duke of Lusk. She's evaded, refused, even run away. When her family's patience runs out, they pack her off to London to walk down the aisle. But Helena has another idea. Find a more suitable bride to take her place, even if she must look for a replacement duchess every day. Declan Shaw, better known as the Huntsman, is a mercenary who can pick and choose his clientele after his last job escorting a young noblewoman to France landed him in jail under false accusations. He wants nothing to do with aristocrats or women, but the law isn't done with him, and if he agrees to babysit a duke's errant fiancé, the payout could make his legal troubles go away. When their worlds collide, Declan realizes that containing his new client is only slightly harder than keeping his hands off her. Helena senses an ally in her handsome new bodyguard and solicits his help. Together, they must escape the forces that oppose them and fight for the fairy tale love they desire. Okay, so there we go. So I think those will be the five choices that we put in as a vote. And then I just have a few others that I still want to get to that I'll show you guys. And then we'll wrap this up, okay? So... Um, another three that I want to read. So I want to continue with um, Megan Frampton. So this is The Lady is Daring and this is one of the Duke's Duchesses series. Um, I have a Christmas novella from this series too that I want to read but 
I want to read them in order. So even though I'll get to it and it'll be after Christmas, like I don't care. Um, but this is about, um, Lady Ida Howlett. Um, yeah, and I'm super excited. And Lord Carson. Is Lord Carson finally going to get a love? Okay, sorry. The other books, like, have both been about a sister trying to get Lord Carson. So maybe this is finally about him getting one of them. Then I want to continue with the Clay and Kendrick series with the Highlander's English Bride. I've already read the first two in this series, and they're fantastic. They are very story-heavy and not ton on the romance side, which isn't normally my favorite, but the way this author writes... I really, really like it, and so I haven't minded that they haven't been as steamy, even though I, like, want that. It's okay. I'm a good girl. Um, but, yeah, this one is about Sabrina Bell and one of the notorious twins. This one's about Graham. So, it's going to be great. And then, I want to read Dangerous by Minerva Spencer. So, I recently just read Notorious by Minerva Spencer, which is a continuation kind of of the Outcast series, but it's now being called like Rebels of the Ton and it got like a, a rebranded cover and it's made into a um, trade pub cover. But I already own some books by Minerva Spencer and this one is supposed to be about um, Lady Euphema Marlington and she is in the harem of, I believe she's in the harem of where is it? I think she's like run away from this because I believe that Mia is the mother of the guy in Notorious. So anyway, I'm going to try to get to this one. So the reason those three aren't up for vote is because they are like in series I'm already reading. Whereas like these ones are books that I haven't read anything in the series yet. And so I believe you'd be able to just jump in with me and these are ones I want to get to. So yeah, so those are the books that I want to try to read in January, mostly all historical. Um, then let's talk about what comes out in January and what I'm going to try to get to that is not out yet. So uh, Vow So Bold and Deadly doesn't come out till near the end of the month, but I want to read that as soon as it's here. Um, Roommate by Serena Bowen comes out on the 12th. Um, Cole by uh, Eden Summers doesn't come out till the 22nd. And then Prince Charming by Kay Webster comes out on the 26th. So those are some new releases that I'm going to try to read when they come out as well. So there we go. That is kind of what the new setup is going to be for the coming year. Um, don't forget if you want to be part of a buddy read for any of possibly one of these books, which I am going to read all of the, I'm going to try to read all of these for sure, but the one that you guys vote on, we would read together and I'll have a channel for it in my discord. So make sure you check out the Google forms down below and vote on which one of these you would like to buddy read with me. If you don't want to buddy read one of them, like it's totally fine. Um, just, yeah, I'm really excited. So thank you so much for tuning in for this video. Um, I put up new videos multiple times a week, so make sure you check that out. Um, again, check out these awesome pins. Like, oh, they're so beautiful. I have such a good time. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.